Well, Jack, I don't know if you remember or not, but at the uh, BET Awards, I was doing an interview for This Is 50, and I had the outfit that I had on was like a little cutout right here, and he reaches over and he grabs me and like shakes me. He was like, look at your little me, me, me. And I was mortified. You let Jack touch you like that? I, I mean, it was, he just did Jack it. Jack would have got slapped, and that's my he brother like, from another mother. He me, me, me. And I was like, oh. <laughs> my little me, me, me. Okay, great. <laughs> Yo, sex tape, get it popping inside my room. Cause I, I used to just get butt naked on girls. I just put your shit on now and get on and popping. This is Mimi Faust, and you're watching thisis50.com. This is 50 Radio. This is 50.com. I am your host at Gossip Viv. And I am the perfect gentleman, DJ Thorough. Really? No Thorough's <laughs> on? Not today. <laughs> And we got Mimi in the building. Hi, guys. Looking as lovely as she want to look. Preach. Mimi. <laughs> got a lot going on this season. Girl. <laughs> Where do we start with you? Because you like to start the show. They've been popping my name, right? Every episode, it's Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. I love it. Keep talking, y'all. Okay, this season, a lot of drama going on. Last episode that just aired. Some things are going on with you and Margot, mm -hmm. and it seems like Arian was also. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some secret that's going on. So what is everybody talking about? It's the tape, the tape, the tape, the tape, the tape. The, mix, the mix tape? <laughs> oh, <okay>. The mix <laughs> tape, yes, the okay, mix tape. Oh, the mix tape. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got a new mix tape coming oh, okay. out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about this tape is so I mean, what haven't we seen? Because we've seen it all. Yeah, you have, haven't you? I know, I've seen it. <laughs> I, seen I it. think anybody I wanted who's... to know where you got the shower rod from. You know, well, that was a very strong thing. Industrial but you strength. were like, you know. No, 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 no. I want to be clear and, and give a shower rod disclaimer. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, ladies, please don't, you know, go and swing from that shower rod like it's going to support your weight. No, it's not. Your partner has to you know, be supporting you. If you do that by yourself, you will bust your ass and go to the hospital. Let's be clear. So don't get up there she like, sounds like she's talking from experience. That's experience. Program. Yeah, don't, don't do that. It won't be good for you. It's not going to work out well. Okay. So I guess the million dollar question with this whole sex tape thing is, is did you know about it? I did it. I you know, because I guess that's the whole thing. People are saying, like, you know, she knew about it, she didn't know about it, and no. it was produced. What are they? What they're saying is, I masterminded the tape. It was my, masterminded. That's it was okay. my idea, and it was my. No, that's absolutely not true. It was not my idea. It was Nico's idea from the start. Let's be clear. Mm, okay. I was an idiot and went along with it, but it was Nico's idea, all of it. Now here comes Margo this season, because we all didn't know who she was last season. Yes. <laughs> here comes Margo. I mean, here comes Margo. She okay. popped up this season. It seems like there's an issue. For her? With, I don't know. I don't have an issue. You cool with her? I don't know her. I don't okay. have a problem she, with her. She's the one who needs to be mad at her husband for denying her and keeping her a secret this whole time. What you mad at me for? Go on, I'll let you do. So can I ask you something? Sure. Are you in love with Stevie J? No, it's my daughter's father. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to get back with Stevie. I mean, if Stevie got hit by a bus, yes, I'm going to be upset. I will go to his funeral, yes. She says that on the show. I'm just yeah. saying, yeah. Like, right, right, right. talk. But, you know, am I secretly pining away for Stevie? No. Now, are you in love with Nico? Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I got to ask because Chico kind of alluded to the yeah. fact yesterday that maybe y'all were... Still have you still have feelings? He for probably him. still has feelings for me, but Margot doesn't even know me to make that kind of statement. Okay. About y'all, and she don't know me. She just be running her mouth, girl. Last season, you had a fight at the reunion with Jocelyn. What happened with that? Um, she was clearly out of her mind on some substance. 
And uh, <laughs> it's some substance. And was, you know, fighting everyone in the audience and who wants them, and this and that. And I'm just like a, a wild animal. <laughs> and I immediately, I said, you know what? I want no parts of this BS. I got right up. I had just spent four hours in hair and makeup. Girl, please. So I politely got up and removed myself from the situation. I went airing and I went to the bathroom on the way out the melee just got out of control. So at, the, everybody was like, get them to their dressing rooms. They were taking everybody and putting them in their dressing rooms. I'm going down the stairs to go to my dressing room. Why she was still in the building, I have no idea. She's walking up the stairs, coming down at the same time. Mm -hmm. And didn't say one word to her, and she just swung at me. Mm. We had nowhere to go in a narrow staircase. Now let me ask you, do you think that she thinks you still want Stevie? I really don't give a damn what she thinks. She's an, an, an idiot. Oh. Yeah, she's she cannot speak without, you know, have a, a conversation without hitting someone. She needs to really grow up. Like, you too old for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That her, her first reaction is to lash out and hit and, and fight. And, Girl, how old are you? Are you in the sixth grade? <laughs> use, use your words. I know that's a little hard for you, but... I'm sure you get this a lot, but have you been approached by the porno industry to yeah, further your... Yes, I have. They yeah. have asked me to do another tape. Um, they've asked me, would I do another one with Nico or someone else? Okay. Yeah. And you said... Absolutely not. Okay. No. No. That's some real money. It is, but that's not even my thing. Like, I didn't... Look, let's be clear. That's kind of hard to tell, but go ahead. No, let's be clear. I have never... That was the first time I had ever in my life recorded myself with a man. Were you ever. happy about it though? Like, I mean, with the visuals, not at the end of the public. <laughs> but did you look at it and say, dang, I did my thing on it? <laughs> I thought, actually, I thought it was, you know, rather subdued. I thought really? it was, I did. I thought it was a little. You know, y'all was better than that damn Ray J and Kim K with her lazy ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the hijab fool you. I'm a real person. <laughs> Just saying, I wow. was excited. I was like, oh, go me. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying, it was action. I'm not even a big um, porn watcher. Mm -hmm. I hadn't even seen their tape. I hadn't. And I had. give you a whole new perspective on Ray J. I have a lot of respect <laughs> for this man. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Woo. I had never even. Did and I don't even look at Ray J like that. Like that. I've seen that and I was like, I ought to be sync this. <laughs> These things had to be resourced. <laughs> All right, Viv. Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Ramadan. What are you I'm doing, so man? Viv, what are you doing? I know, I know who, if people are following you and they don't know where you at, tell them where they can find you at. Okay, my Instagram is Mimi Faust. It's just my name, M-I-M-I-F-A-U-S-T. My Twitter is the same, Mimi Faust. My my Facebook is official Mimi Faust. Mm -hmm. And of course on Monday nights? Of course, you can watch me and the rest of the cast of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta on VH1, 8 o'clock Monday night.